Okay, good morning. It is 5.30 in the morning. I am going to do my assessment, which means, oh my God, that scared the crap out of me. That's my daughter. Oh my God, I just had a heart attack. <laughs> I am going to do my assessment, which means I'm going to run a mile, do like how many pull-ups you can do in a minute, push up, like, I, I don't know, a different like body assessment. We'll do it at the beginning of the challenge, middle and the end to see like how you improve. I'm freezing. It's early, but I'm excited to get started. So I'm gonna start driving. I gotta fill you in. So I went this morning at 5.30 in the morning to have my body scan and uh, my weights done, my pictures done. You guys, let me tell you what my husband did last night. Okay, so I set my alarm. I knew I had to get up early. Um, they only did them a certain amount of times of the day. So that was like the time that worked best. Like ideally I didn't want to get up at five, but it is what it is, right? So my husband snores all night long. Like I wanted to smother him with a pillow. I've been up since one, one, one a.m. Um, so <laughs> anyways, got my scans done got my pictures everything's done i came home had to get the girls ready for like school it's like I could, it's not like i could just go like right back to bed so got the girls ready for school and fell asleep on the couch <laughs> um anyways they made it to school on time everything is okay um glad that's out of the way i'm feeling super super excited and like pumped about the challenge like i said i'm really ready to just take my body to the next level um I basically kind of put myself into a deficit already. I don't have my meal plan yet, but I dropped my calories down because I weighed in, you know? So I feel like I'm already like in it. Um, for reference, it's Wednesday. So when like I'm not officially starting the challenge till Monday, but it's Wednesday and I weighed in. So like I'm already mentally in. It's not like I'm gonna go have like a splurge because I would spike weight like after I weighed in, like this makes sense to me. So I'm in it, I'm in it to win it um i am a little bit hungry today it's like normal for your body to like adjust in your mind and like you know when you like first get into a deficit so i am feeling a little bit like more hungry today but i'm really determined um and really excited uh to get started <laughs> welcome to my crazy kitchen it is sunday i am meal prepping so i think i'm gonna prep the next two days um i have a bunch of stuff already cooked so i'm gonna just put it together okay so i've got my meal prep containers i usually get these like on amazon or ross or marshall's or whatever i use them for months on end until they are demolished and then i recycle them and buy more um we are gonna go in veggies my some of my favorite veggies i'm pretty basic i like cauliflower broccoli and green beans um those are kind of just like my favorites i like cucumbers too but anyways um canned green beans i'm gonna start some meals with that I keep frozen broccoli. I got this um, this one at Costco. It came with like four of these frozen ones. I'm going to do some meals with that. I have ground turkey, jasmine rice, and then, oh wait, I also have... Some chicken breast. So that's what I'm going to do for the next like two days. Um, let's get into it. Okay, so we got our food scale out. Let's just go ahead and start. I'm going in with three ounces of protein. So, three ounces of protein and four ounces of rice. So you can just keep that on there, zero that out. And then let's do, I usually like to do like at least a hundred grams of a veggie, but let's see what that looks like. Okay. Looks pretty good. I'll also top with like maybe a little bit of soy sauce, low sodium soy sauce, hot sauce. You know, I love the sauces, um, but I'm just getting like my basic meals down. So I have those out of the way. So meal one. So these will just like be kept in my fridge. I can grab when I want, um, mix and match when I want. If I'm like, oh, I'm feeling green beans. Oh, I'm feeling broccoli, like whatever. 
Um, that was a little low, so let's add up just a smidge of green bean in there. I always keep frozen and canned vegetables in my house. Just makes life easier for days like this. Um, and like easy, busy nights, whatever. Okay. Meal number two. Meal number three. <laughs> now I could be switching up my uh, protein. I could do the chicken. And in fact, actually, let me do that. I'm gonna switch to chicken breast. Peter grilled this for me yesterday. I usually just make it like in my crock pot or in um, on the barbecue, anything like that, it works. Okay, then we're gonna do this one with rice. And then I think this one I'm actually gonna do, okay, they were done with our rice, jeez. Okay, this one I'm gonna do cauliflower rice. Watch this, let's do well. Uh, what do I wanna do, what do I wanna do? Should I do this one with green beans? I'll do green beans with this one, I guess. That's fine. Okay, green beans. And then I am going to do a stir fry one. So let's see. Let's do, let me think how I want to do this because I like to cook my stir fry a little bit different. I might cook it. Uh, can't decide. Okay, I think I will. I, for whatever reason, really like to chop my chicken when it's in my stir fry. So I'm going to do that. Okay. One, two, three meals done. Let me chop this chicken. I just think this works like better for a stir fry to have your chicken chopped really fine. My husband does this for me and he has like spoiled me and now I like prefer it this way. So yeah. Okay. Now let's do Cauliflower rice, also from Costco, and a little bit of mixed veggies. Let's see. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's like. Oh boy. Oh boy, I made a mess. Okay. Let's change it to grams. I'm going to do 100 grams of cauliflower rice. Dude, why is this like so frozen? Okay. What, baby? You okay, Sloan? Okay, that's a hundred. What happened? Oh my goodness. And I'm gonna do, come here, baby. And I'm gonna do 40 grams of these mixed veggies. Whoa. Oh no, you got your new shoe dirty. Come here. I said she could watch it. Aww. Okay, let me cook this up. Okay, so all we're gonna do is go ahead and just throw this. This is totally frozen. So we're gonna throw this into a pan and cook this down for a little bit. Now this is nothing fancy. I just like to add garlic, a little bit of onion. Oh, uh-oh. A little bit of onion, tiny pinch of salt and pepper. That sounds good. 
It sounds good. I know, right? So good. A little bit of, I can't believe it's not butter. And then that's really it. We just kind of, we're just cooking down all this melted ness. It adds a little bit of flavor. And then we're also going to warm it, you know, when we microwave it tomorrow when we eat it. Um, but this is like one of my favorite dinners. I also like to add, of course, oh boy. I also like to add, of course, some hot sauce and a little bit of low sodium soy sauce or liquid aminos. Um, I think this is like one of my all time favorite um, meal prep, like super low calorie, high protein uh, meals where you sneak in tons of veggies. Don't sleep on cauliflower rice for filler. I know people are like, oh my God, cauliflower rice is not rice. Like, well, duh, it's not, but it's also a great way to sneak in vegetables if you're not like a broccoli lover. Like I get it, everybody like doesn't want to eat florets of broccoli like me um so this is like a really good way to get in veggies without having to you know be a little bit boring or bland like i think this is a great meal okay this is like not defrosting what babe um ah. can, uh, ah. <laughs> can we bring the fruit outside sure yeah we take the fruit outside okay This also takes a lot of that water out. You don't necessarily have to do this. You can add it to your meal prep container and then just warm it in the microwave. It's just a little bit more wet, um, you know, from like the frozen and the ice. Either way is fine. It depends on how picky you are. I will eat anything, um, but I do like this better. This, I think you get better flavor out of it this way, to be honest. Okay, I totally miscalculated and had to steal some rice from another meal, but no problem. I always keep jasmine rice in my pantry. Um, so, no problem. I'm going to add this rice in, take it from another meal, then I'll refill this one. No problem. So, there's that. We're going to add our chopped chicken. Now, you guys, I promise when this is done, you are not going to... You are not gonna think this is like a boring prepped meal. You're gonna be like, chef's kiss, delicious. A little spray of the butter, a little bit more garlic and onion because it just brings a little bit more flavor. Next, we're gonna go in with a little bit of low sodium soy sauce. Now, if you're sensitive to sodium, just you know, be aware of that. Going in with some sriracha. I mean, does that not look so delicious? Prepped, challenge approved. My, <coughs> well, sorry, that sriracha, my style fried rice-ish. You guys, would you believe that there is hidden cauliflower in there? If you didn't know. I mean, come on, that looks delicious. Okay, let's add that fried rice in there. Oh my goodness. Like, this is one of my favorite meals. I can't wait to have this tomorrow night. Okay, so that will be dinner. Okay, so let's see. So if you can see, we've got, I gotta do breakfast, but we have morning snack. Ooh, we need to add rice. Okay, so let me make more rice. So morning snack, lunch, afternoon snack, dinner, and then I'll have a protein shake for dessert. Okay, so basically you just have to pack your four meals. Oh, I'm, you guys, I'm like done. Let me just make some more rice and we'll do breakfast. Okay, actually I can have potatoes. So I'm gonna switch it up and put a potato. I would prefer if these were like red or sweet potatoes because I just like those better. But you guys, I got these from Walmart. They come in so handy. They're like, 
just potatoes like that's it frozen keeping your freezer so easy um i'm gonna do four ounces of that oh, oh, oh. okay that's enough of that and then i just microwave these and then put them on a skillet let me show you okay so i actually changed my mind well not changed my mind but um so we have four ounces of potatoes for lunch or one of the meals and then i'm gonna do three ounces of potatoes with my breakfast so let's go ahead and make cook those up this is another super simple like i said i love buying frozen stuff it just makes things easier yes i do fresh um but this really works too and again we just go in with my holy grail garlic onion i'm trying to keep my sodium down a little bit so i'm gonna do just like literally a splash of salt like okay splash of salt but i love pepper let's put that in there and i love adding smoked paprika to my potatoes it gives it that red color and it makes them feel like those like home fry kind of things you can also give them just little spritz Ooh, that smokiness so good and these are already fully cooked, so you're not really cooking them. You're just getting that kind of like that little golden brown that you get of like home fries, that kind of thing, but without frying your potato. It's super easy. I love this hack. So you just cook those down for like just a few minutes. Um, I let them just get kind of crispy on the sides. How delicious do these little potatoes go? Okay, I'm going to add four ounces of this for lunch tomorrow, and then I'll come back and do the breakfast. Okay, for our breakfast, we got our three ounces of potatoes. We have about 140, 150 grams of egg whites and one whole egg. Add that in and scramble. Now, you don't always have to eat eggs for the morning for breakfast. It's just by far my favorite. I'm not a real sweet person um, when it comes to like my food. Like I could have oatmeal, I could have, you know, protein waffles, whatever. It's just, I don't like to start my day sweet. I like it savory. So this is just my go-to breakfast. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of strawberries on the side. Their meal plan was actually really reasonable. I um, It's actually more carbs than I'm used to eating. So I'm excited to kind of see how my body feels with like the extra exercise and the carbs. Um, the protein is like pretty dead on to what I've been doing. Um, a little bit lower fat than I'm kind of used to, but we're going to see. I'm trusting the process. Um, I was kind of prepared to like adjust as I needed to, but it looks pretty reasonable. So I am just going with that. Um, so yeah, I could have had Ezekiel bread instead of these potatoes, which like I will end up doing. Obviously it's eight weeks. Like I will switch it up, but this is kind of like my hyper fixation meal for right now. Okay, breakfast is done. So we are ready for tomorrow. We have breakfast, egg scramble with a little bit of potato. We've got for lunch, or it really doesn't matter, morning snack will be some ground turkey, rice, and some veggies. Okay. Uh, lunch, again, doesn't really matter, will be chicken, rice, veggie. Yes, you see the pattern here. Um, you can switch it up more, but I just like to keep things simple in the beginning. Um, afternoon snack, potato. Um, what the heck is this? I've been ground turkey and some veggies. And then for dinner, my favorite meal. I love this one. This is the kind of fried rice-ish with like the cauliflower rice and the veggies. And then I'll come home after that. Well, I'll go to the gym after work and then I will come home and make my protein shake. But that's it. That's my day. Wish me luck, y'all. <laughs>